everyone this is doxy mom and welcome back to my channel if you haven't done so already i greatly appreciate it if you hit that little red subscribe button you can ring the bell for notifications and if you like this video just give it a thumbs up i'm here right now with miss peanut again today and we're going to bring you the news in 15 minutes or less so let's get started and guys i apologize my husband is outside on the lawnmower and uh if you hear a lawnmower well you'll know what's happening and now Miss Peanut and Miss Lucy, they might have a little tiff here, but I think we'll be, be able to get through this. Now, guys, let's start out with some good news, shall we? The We Build the Wall, which has raised over $24 million in the past six months, won well, about three days. They raised an additional $700,000 for this new segment of wall. Now they finished the first segment just outside of El Paso, and now they're starting on this new segment, and I'll leave a link uh, to the Gateway Pundit, and if you go to that article, when you scroll down, there's gonna be a link there, and if you just wanna go over there, you can donate to We Build the Wall. I sent them a little bit of money last week because I just think it's a good cause, and if you wanna do that, then good for you. Uh, now, let's see, there is some bad news, and this is a Hill article that I'll link, but one of those Obama-appointed judges, Judge Haywood Gilliam, who gave Obama thousands of dollars during his campaign, well, he has blocked Trump from using $2.5 billion in uh, military funds to build the wall. So, you know, it stopped the wall construction in parts of New Mexico, Arizona, and Texas, but other parts are still being built. Uh, but, you know, of course we're going to appeal this, and I'll leave a link, but you boys over there, we build the wall. You boys and girls, you just keep up the great work, because I think that's just fabulous. Now, more good news. Our oil, oil production here in the, in the United States is now at 12.16 million barrels a day. And that number is expected to increase. Now, if gas could just come back to a dollar a gallon, boy, those were the good old days, weren't they? Well, you know, I doubt that'll ever happen again, but I have heard that gas is under $2 a gallon in some places in the U.S. So, hey, that's pretty great. And a little life lesson, never say never. Now, for this next article, I'm going to link over to uh, Michael at the Patriot Hour. And if you just go there to the six minute and 15 minute mark, he puts up all the names of all the networks and reporters who colluded with the DNC or the Hillary campaign during the 2016 election. And this is from the Wikipedia leaks drop and, uh, or the WikiLeaks drop, I'm sorry, the WikiLeaks drop. And uh, guys, you just can't trust these people, okay? So I'm just going to tell you a few of the names. This is not all of the names. You can go over to the Patriot Hour and, and see all the names. But over at ABC, Cecilia Vega, David Muir. You know, I used to watch him every night on the nightly news. That just disappointed me so much. Diane Sawyer and that old George Stephanopoulos. Now, I've never really cared much for that man, but I do pray for him. Over at CBS... Gail King, hmm, isn't she Oprah's best friend? John Dickerson and Nora O'Donnell at CNN. Jake Tapper, Jeff Zucker, Sam Feist, just to name some on the list of 13. But you know that Brian Stelter, he was not on the list, so that was kind of surprising. No surprises here at MSNBC. Rachel Maddow, Joe Scarborough, and uh, Mika Brzezinski, they are all of 11 on that list. NBC, Chuck Todd, Mark Murray, and Savantha Guthrie. Uh, now, wasn't she just doing the debates? I believe she was. New York Times, number 17's favorite, Maggie Haberman. Imagine that, one out of the seven. Now, PBS, Charlie Rose. Now, didn't CBS fire him for multiple women? I believe they were accusing him of uh, sexual misconduct. Hmm. And then other names from the Associated Press, Bloomberg, BuzzFeed, CNNBC, Huff Huffington Post, New Yorkers, New York Times, Politico, The Hill, 
Vice, Box, Washington Post, uh, Wall Street Journal, Journal, Yahoo, and others. So, imagine that, guys. I'm telling you, there's people in the media that are going to jail, and I'll keep you posted. Now, on Twitter, Molly tweeted this. She said, Kamala Harris. She, is, she says that she's unsure how Trump is measuring the health of the economy. Surprised, she's unclear that it's the GDP, job growth, wage growth, labor force, participation, etc. Hmm, and this woman's running for president. Now, let me tell you something, guys. The first time I ever saw her, and it was at one of those hearings, maybe for Kavanaugh, oh, goodness, I just could tell that that woman was evil through and through just from hearing her. And now, it, when I found out she was running for president, my heart just sank. Not because I thought she was going to beat President Trump, it's just if she wins the Democratic nomination, then she's going to have to debate Trump. And, guys, I can't just hard, I hardly just, I can't hardly listen to her speak. She just, oh, it hurts my ears. So please pray that she doesn't win the nomination. But if she does get it, guys, I won't be surprised. But I'm going to be very, very disappointed. Now, about a month ago, I put out a video entitled The 17 Major Scandals soon to be exposed, and one of those scandals was Fast and Furious, where, you know, Obama's Justice Department, they sold assault weapons to the Mexican drug cartel, and among them were semi-automatic weapons and a 50 caliber rifle powerful enough to bring down a helicopter. Well, allegedly, this was a way to track the guns, but... It was really a way to crack down on guns in America. You know, to have stricter gun laws, because we already know the Democrats want to take our guns away. But I wanted to bring this up because Fast and Furious, I have a feeling, is going to be in the news fairly soon. But you know what? They lost track of nearly 2,000 of those guns. And they started showing up at murder scenes, both here and in Mexico. Then... A poor border agent, Brian Terry, he died by being shot in the back by one of those government-issued semi-automatics, and this brought everything to light back in 2010. Of course, the um, Obama officials, they lied, and they said that the program never existed. Hmm, how convenient. Well, a federal judge he forced the release of more than 20,000 pages of emails and memos previously locked up under Obama's phony executive privilege claim. Now, a preliminary review, this was back in 2016, they showed that top, top officials, hmm, maybe like Eric Holder, maybe, well, they were deliberately obstructing congressional probes into the border gun running operation. Now guys, Obama's Justice Department, they did this and then they tried to cover it up and this is gonna be one of those scandals that's gonna be coming out. So I'll leave the link. Paul Sperry did an excellent job writing the article, but you know guys, this is all about money and power and that leads us into our next story with Serial Brain 2 came out with part two today and he said that that unmanned drone was shot down by the Rothschild cabal and conducted, now I didn't, I didn't know this, that it was conducted, this is what he says, by Hillary and controlled assets within the Iranian military. Now the purpose, of course, I told you in my last video, one of the purposes was to weaken the stock market and the other was to have President Trump fight back to start another endless war and to get the White Hats distracted from the real job of taking down the cabal. Now, it was also, this was a signal that a silent revolution has started in Iran to get their country back from the cabal. Now, President Trump, he's already given North Korea and now Iran ways to get their countries back so they can be prosperous again. And guys, we really need to pray about this, but it is all about money. And it's all about greed. It's all about power. And you know in Luke chapter 16 verse 13, this is what it says. 
No servant can serve two masters. Either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. Now, guys, this isn't saying you can't be rich. You got money, that's fine. But with great wealth comes great responsibility. So, make sure... You know, even Mark Taylor, he says, where are my millionaires and billionaires? We need to be out here buying up these media outlets so we can get the true word out. Now, guys, don't forget about my contest. If you um, ask somebody to subscribe, it could be a neighbor. It could be the waitress tonight if you go out to eat. Just say, hey, you got YouTube? Would you subscribe to my, my friends? Because y'all are my friends for sure. My friend's YouTube channel. Just have them subscribe and write it down in the comments. And I'll put your name in the hat for that $20 Amazon gift card that I'll be drawing on July the 5th. Well, thanks for tuning in, everybody. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And until next time, I'm Doxy Mom, and God bless you all.